All right, Nick and I's evening chore. So we got to get that dog feeder up there, bring it down to the tractor and take it up to the dogs. We were able to feed the dogs in a bowl last night because Arctic and Betty don't go for dog food like uh, the girls do. But anyways, we still got to get it put up there. Want me to just hold it up so, so when you get in the tractor you can yeah, lift it up? Yeah. Maples. Hi, Maples. Hello, Maples. Hello. 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 All right, in about 30 minutes, we should be able to turn the water on. It's warm enough today, it's about 80 out. My stuff should dry pretty quick. Kinda wanna do a farm update for you guys though. Today, <laughs> look at these tomatoes, don't judge us. These tomatoes suffer some from some major transplant shock though. Look at these guys. Now, they're not dead, just the leaves are dead. Even the one that Beth broke is alive and starting to come back, but, we're hoping these guys get some new growth on them. If not, Elizabeth has went through and planted a new seed in each one. That way if they die, we at least have something coming up. Yeah, they'll be a little late, but what are you gonna do? There are a couple tomatoes that look awesome though. <clears throat> All of her peppers that she transplanted look great. My microgreens are looking good. Just did those yesterday. We got five trays of those. Once they sprout, we'll separate them. And yeah, so. We got everything out of the greenhouse in the house out here so we can take that out of the house And I'd like to get my microgreens put in that somewhere out here. I just don't know where yet We have some lettuce sprouted in here. So that's a plus we should have some salad mix here Coming up pretty soon probably another few weeks 
I think Beth planted some radishes and stuff in here and those have sprouted as you can see. I don't know what else she has going on in there. But other good news today is we were able to finally get all of the goats and the dogs out of our garden. I'll show you what that looks like here. By the way, we we're having some very unusual weather. This warmness doesn't usually happen until the first part of June end of april right now and it is over 80 degrees that's pretty unheard of anyways we got the goats and dogs out of the garden here so now we can come through clean everything up and get our raking house cleaned out that's exciting so what i'm going to do for now i'd like to get this big gate open i'll have to go get the drill though that way we can uh let the chickens in here to scratch the stuff around for a few days. There we go, big doors open. Open it all the way, that way we can get the uh, tractor in and out of there when we're bringing all the compost from the raking house. <sighs> but first things first, the raking house, I need to build something on the outside of the raking house where I can move the rabbits out because I don't want them breathing in or being stressed when I'm in and out of there with the tractor. And picking up that compost in that raking house will put off some of a smell and we don't want to damage their very delicate lungs. So I need to get them out. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put them first. All right, so this is our second batch of chickens in the brooder. The other ones up top are going to be six weeks this week. Yeah, six weeks already. We've had the first 125 birds. Oh, these guys, they got the lights off because it's been so warm, but they are coming up on three weeks this week. So we need to get them well, we need to get those polyface tractors we have up there repaired and moved to the correct spot so we can get these guys out. Uh, but likely this week, we're supposed to have some thunderstorms and some rain, so I don't know what's gonna happen. We might have to keep them in here for four weeks, but if that's the case, we might have to set these uh, tanks back up in our mudroom because we do have some chicks coming, I think this, this coming up week here. So figure out something with that. All right, we're gonna try this water out been a couple hours i think it should be nice and dry by now we'll flip it on and see how many breaks i have up there on the hill every year usually i have some we have so much pressure that the pipes usually just pull apart but we shall see i hope it doesn't explode in here because this is this sucks when stuff happens in here Let's get this heater out of my way so we'll turn it on slowly Go check the pipes. Make sure everything's good before I do turn it on all the way. It's always scary turning on the water for the first time. <laughs> so far, so good here. If the water's even made it up this high yet, I hear it. Either it's broken or I have a valve left open. Ooh, that one's broken. That's not good. That sucks. That really sucks. I don't have any other way to turn that off, but right there. I wasn't gonna turn that side on anyways because Maddie shot that with my 22 when we were target shooting down there in the ravine earlier in the fall. Ah, this sucks. And that is broken, broken. Man, there's no replacing that. Crap. That is like worst case scenario for the day. It's Sunday, nothing's open. Can't fix it. I could probably turn it on down there 
every day just to give water to the dogs and the chickens and stuff up here. But that's kind of a pain. Well, let's turn this valve on and see if it works. And this line here, this goes all the way to the dogs. I know for a fact this line has a hole in it because I came up here and I killed a skunk in my compost pile uh, last fall also. And it went through the pallets and into my water line behind it. So, yep. Anyways, we'll turn it on. I'll show you the hole. Try to fix it, but was not successful. So all I, all I really got to do with this one though is cut it, reattach it right there. That's an easy fix. But the other one's not going to be so easy. Get one of these oranges. What the heck? Seriously. Wow. Yeah, so that one's on. This had a, a valve on it that is now missing. So I can't even shut this off. Man, we are slacking this one. Just need some water. Probably, you know. No? Wow. I didn't drink much water today, dogs. Better get on it. Better drink some water. Better get some water. Yeah, I know, baby. We'll move in just a little bit. Alright. Give me something to munch on for a little bit. Put this back on here like this. Shocked. All right, bye dogs. Okay, let's go shut this water off. First, let's make sure all these monsters, make sure all their, what did that happen? Their waters are working, that one works. This one's low on water, so I can tell it's working. That one is not working. Let's figure it out. Excuse me, it's not doing time yet. Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, see your water, please. Like it's laying on the ground, eh? Double check this one. Your water's not working either. Excuse me, you got water, let me out. Not dinner time yet though. Thanks. See y'all later. Alright, let's go shut this water off. I hate broken irrigation. It sucks. It just takes time to fix. So until tomorrow or the next day, actually it probably won't be until Wednesday until I can get to it. Uh, we're just gonna have to shut it on and off, turn it on and off in the in the pump house. But what are you gonna do? And she's off. And Beth asked me to hold off on that hay structure. She wants me to give my back a full week. So it won't be till middle of this next week when I can start working on that hay thing again. I'll honor that because she's right. If I get hurt again. I'm gonna be down even longer, so can't have that, especially this time of year. All right guys, just got inside. I made my list out for next week since today is Sunday. 
Here's what you can plan on seeing in this week's uh, worth of videos. We got to get that irrigation fixed. We just went and checked on that today. We got a broken valve. We got to fix that uh, long hose that goes over to the dogs. Has a hole in it for me. I got to fix Maddie's hole that she shot in my big two inch uh, poly pipe that goes to the other side. I need to get our front water turned on. I need to fix those polyface tractors. So I got two polyface tractors that were collapsed because of the snow. I gotta get those fixed this week. I believe we have chicks coming in this week. So unless I want more chicks in my mud room, I gotta get those fixed. I gotta go to town Monday, uh, which is an hour south. I gotta go that way. Um, I have a couple implements for my tractor that I need to get situated so I can get those sold. And I need to start work on our hay shed. So that's just uh, that's just my main things I had to get done. There's all sorts of things I had to get in between that I could easily think about. But those are the things that I'm going to try and focus on this week.